My name is Joanne Stone. I'm the system director of maternal fetal medicine for the Mount Sinai healthcare system. A maternal fetal medicine specialist is um, a OBGYN that has done special training, a fellowship uh, in um, the care of high-risk pregnancies. Um, so we are, we are the experts in um, high-risk pregnancy. So a maternal fetal medicine specialist has additional training. So we spend three years after doing a residency um, focus only on the care of high-risk pregnancies. And that may involve um, a mother who is high-risk because she has a medical condition like heart disease or long-standing diabetes or lupus, um, or it could be that she's carrying a multifetal pregnancy, so twins or triplets, um, or um, somebody that needs particular uh, diagnosis of a fetal condition. So a uh, one of the large parts of what we do is prenatal diagnosis. So performing ultrasound procedures where we can actually look at the fetus, look at all the anatomy, um, detect any um, concerns for either structural defects or genetic syndromes. And then also there's the aspect of uh, fetal therapy as well. So we can do certain procedures where, for example, if a fetus is anemic, um, we can actually do a transfusion where we give blood to an anemic fetus and um, help that fetus make it through to uh, result in a healthy uh, out outcome. So a high-risk pregnancy really varies. Um, high-risk pregnancy could be a woman who got pregnant perhaps through IVF and is older, maybe 50 years old or so and at risk for developing gestational diabetes or preeclampsia, or it could be a uh, pregnancy where um, the pregnant individual um, has had many miscarriages or stillbirths in the past. And so we monitor the pregnancy very differently. We will do a whole workup to find out what happened and how we can um, help um, that person uh, end up with a healthy pregnancy. Or it can be somebody um, with, who has an underlying medical condition. So for example, somebody who might have had a renal transplant or liver transplant in the past or diabetes or heart disease. So there's a whole gamut of uh, reasons why a pregnancy may be at high risk. So I would tell people that, first of all, if they have had experience some kind of a poor outcome in the past, a really good thing to do is do a preconceptional consultation with a maternal fetal medicine specialist. So you actually do this prior to conceiving um, because it gives you the time to go over what happened in the past or, and, and do a whole workup to figure out how to prevent a, a poor outcome in the future. Um, also it could be somebody that um, is really considered low risk at the beginning, but then is diagnosed with a particular condition. For, so for example, maybe an early diagnosis of a fetus not growing quite as well as expected, or um, somebody that develops early onset preeclampsia or the cervix starts to shorten. Um, and then they would have a consultation at that time after um, something has been picked up and addressed uh, what can be done about it. So that's a really great question. So um, it, it really varies on the uh, individual and also the referring physician and then the condition. So sometimes there are times where we co-manage um, along with the general OBGYN. So a patient maybe has been seeing her OBGYN who she loves and then at 20 weeks has a on routine ultrasound we pick up um, maybe uh, a kidney problem where, where there's a backup of urine in the kidneys. So under that circumstance, we'll follow, as a maternal fetal medicine specialist, I'll follow the patient, checking on the kidneys, on the amniotic fluid, but she continues to see her own OBGYN, um, who will th then do the delivery. Then there can be another circumstance where um, somebody maybe is pregnant with triplets and wants to continue that and needs a lot of you know, ultrasounds and extra um, care because they're at risk for not only preterm delivery, but problems with fetal growth and, and um, maternal complications as well. And it might be that her OBGYN wants to transfer the patient 
um, to the maternal medicine specialist for complete care. So there's a lot of different ways that we deal with things. Sometimes it's a one-time consult. This is what I think you should do. And we just um, pass that message on to her OBGYN. Other times we'll follow the patient along with the OBGYN and, and then so there's the, like the green card, the gold card, and then the platinum card, where maybe we'll take over the care of the patient completely and then um, uh, deliver the patient as well. So if the first pregnancy is high risk, it really depends on what, you know, what the issue was. So for example, let's say somebody was high risk because they had a miscarriage um, and then they found out there was an underlying genetic disorder with the fetus. Um, and so in the second pregnancy, that patient may undergo a test like a chorionic villus sampling or an amniocentesis to look for a genetic abnormality. And if that's completely normal, then they're not really high risk any longer. So they don't really need to be seen by a high risk specialist after that. Then there's a situation where perhaps in one pregnancy, a patient is noted to be sensitized, maybe she was RH negative and um, she developed antibodies to this red cell antigen uh, that can attack fetal blood cells leading to fetal anemia. And that's going to continue, that may continue to be a problem in future pregnancies. Um, so in that case, they would be seen by a high risk specialist um, in, in future pregnancies as well.